how do we receive the blessed month of Ramadan? All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, it was the month of Ramadan that the Quran was revealed as guidance for mankind, clear messages, giving guidance and dis distinguishing and distinguishing between right and wrong. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is a servant and messenger. May Allah peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the day of judgment. The blessed month of Ramadan is full of divine graces and winds of mercy. It is the best of all months and it has the best one of all nights. During Ramadan, the best, the best scripture, during Ramadan, the best scripture was revealed from the Lord of the world. Muslim all over the world are preparing themselves for receiving this honorable month by taking advantage of his virtuous days, blessed nights, an unlimited reward. The Prophet ﷺ said, the reward of good deeds that human do is multiplied up to 700 times. As for fasting is left for me, and I alone will give its reward. The person observing fasting abstain from food and drink only for my sake. The fasting person has two happy occasions. The fasting person has to have happy occasion. The fasting person has two happy occasions, one at the times of breaking his fast and the other a time of meeting his Lord. Surely the breath of one observing fasting is better smelling to Allah than the fragrance of mosque. The Prophet ﷺ also said, when the first night of Ramadan comes, the satans and the mischievous jinns are chained up, and the gates of fire are closed, and none of its gates are opened. The gates of paradise are opened, and none of its gates are closed. And caller calls out, O seeker of good, proceed. O seeker of evil, stop. And Allah has people from his free from whom and Allah has people whom he frees from the fire and it happens every day. The month of Ramadan is a season for hasting to do good deeds, tolerate and to make consolation between people. It is good to start with a compassion, solidarity and kindness and giving a charity to the poor and needy. The Prophet ﷺ used to be the most generous during the month of Ramadan. Thus, it is a good reception of his, this blessed month to start it with being generous to the needy in order to help them in this month. The reward of generosity is great. The Almighty Allah said, believe in Allah and his messenger and give out what he has made pass down to you. Those of you who believe and give will have a great reward. The Prophet ﷺ said, in paradise, there are rooms the outside of which can be seen from within and the inside from without, which Allah has prepared for those who speak gently, provide food, and pray, and pray during the night when people are asleep. It is necessary for a Muslims. It is necessary for a Muslim to, to be keen and performing act of worship, increase his devotional deeds, recite the glorious Quran while contemplating its meaning and observe prayers at night. The Prophet said, Whosoever performs taraweeh prayers at night during the month of Ramadan with faith and in the hope of receiving Allah's reward will have his past sins forgiven. 
The Prophet sallallahu also said, whosoever performs qiyam, my prayers, during Laylatul Qadr, night of decree, with faith and being hopeful of Allah's reward, will have his former sins forgiven. A Muslim should do his best in the following, the example of our messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, such as breaking our fasting immediately after the Maghrib and laying the pre-dawn meal, suhoor, as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, the people will remain upon goodness as long as they hasten to break their fast and delay their suhoor. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also said, eat suhoor. Surely there is a blessing in suhoor. A Muslim should avoid extrava extravagance in eating. A Muslim should avoid extravagance in eating and drinking during this month as the Almighty Allah. A Muslim should avoid extravagance in eating and drinking during this month as the Almighty Allah said, eat and drink as we have permitted, but don't be extravagant. Allah does not like extravagant people. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, no man fills a vessel worse than his stomach. A few mouthful that keeps his back upright are sufficient for him. If he has to, then he should keep one third for food, one third for drink, and one third for his, for his breathing. There is no doubt that Ramadan is a great opportunity for having good ties with relatives and conveying all that is good for them, either materially or morally. The Almighty Allah has commanded us to strengthen our ties of kinship, promising great reward in, his, in this world and the hereafter. And he, the Most High said, be mindful of good of God in whose name you make requests of one another. Beware of serving the ties of kinship. Allah is always, is always watching over you. The Almighty Allah also said, Worship Allah. Associate nothing with Him. Be good to your parents and relatives. The Prophet ﷺ has said, Charity towards a poor person is a charity. And towards a relation is both charity and maintaining the ties of kinship, he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also said, anyone who wants to have his provision expand and his term of life lengthen should maintain ties of kinship. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his companions and followers. Ramadan is the month of diligence and work, not the month of idleness and laziness and neglecting people's interest. There is no contradiction between observing devotional deeds in the month of Ramadan and diligence at work and construction. The Almighty Allah says about Jum'ah prayer, believers, believers, when the call to prayer is made on the day of congregation, Hurry toward the reminder of Allah and leave off your trading that is better for you. If only you knew. Then when the prayer has ended, dis disperse in the land and seek out Allah's bounty. Remember Allah often so you may prosper. Once Sufyan al-Thawri passed by some people sitting in the holy mosque of Mecca. He asked, why you sit here? Why do you sit here? They said, what should we do? He said, seek provision from the Almighty Allah and do not be dependent on Muslims. How much do we need to be well prepared for receiving the blessed month of Ramadan and making use of its time in a way that pleases the Almighty Allah by performing good deeds for the servant of Allah. May Allah save our country Egypt and all other countries 
of the world. Thank you.